Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Henry Atkins and Herbert Jacobs. This extremely beautiful chess game was played in London in 1915. Atkins had white pieces and he started with e4. Jacobs played e5, d4. E takes d4, c3, going for the Danish gambit. D takes c3, bishop to c4, black to move. Instead of c takes b2, Jacobs played knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4. How to defend the pawn? Perhaps knight takes c3 could be played. Atkins played knight to f3 allowing black to capture one more pawn. Knight takes on e4 was played. Atkins cast at king's side. Knight to d6 attacking the bishop. What is the best square for the bishop? Perhaps some players would play bishop to b3. Do you agree? Instead of moving the bishop, knight to c3 was played. And player with the black pieces happily captured the bishop. Black is a piece and two pawns up, but behind in the development. How relevant is that? Why to move and to play the obvious and the obvious is check. Bishop to e7 blocking, attacking the bishop, defending the bishop, more pressure on the bishop, f6, rook to c1 attacking the knight, defending the knight. Why to move? What now? What would you do? Atkins played rook takes knight. Amazing, isn't it? Pawn takes rook. White's attack was quite impressive. But now comes another amazing move. Knight to e5. And this is the critical position of the game. Play with the black pieces played f takes on g5. There are some other moves that play with the black pieces should have considered, like king to f8. Maybe the game would last longer after king to f8. Or maybe even knight takes on e5 should have been considered. If knight takes on e5, one line goes like this. Rook takes knight, pawn takes rook, bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, knight takes queen, King takes knight, queen to d5, c6, queen takes on e5. Check. And it's not easy for the white queen to fight three pieces, is it? Back to our game. Play with the black pieces, did his calculations, and he concluded that f takes on g5 was winning. Queen to h5, check g6. Yes, player. With the black pieces is two pieces and two pawns up, and he thought that he was winning now. But in this position he was hit with another surprise. What surprise? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Atkins played knight to f6 check. Bishop takes knight. Knight takes on g6. Discovered check queen to e7. If king to f7, then one line goes like this. Knight to e5, double check. King to e6, queen to f7, check. King to d6, rook to d1, check. King takes on e5. Queen to d5, check. King to f4. Rook to e1, king to g4, queen to f3, check, king to h4, queen to h3, check, mate. Back to our game. Queen to e7 was played. Rook takes queen. Bishop takes rook. Knight to e5, discover check. King to d8. Knight to f7, check. King to e8. Knight to d6 check, king to d8. White played a move and black resigned and the move is queen to e8 check. Play with the black pieces resigned in view of rook takes queen and then knight to f7 check mate.
in the final position. Black has five pieces on the board and white has only one. Amazing, isn't it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.